Right, it's time for a home brew review, and it is Norfolk Hillbillies Belgium Triple. Um, I've been putting off doing this one for a while, not through not wanting to drink it, just because the strength of it being a nine percent beer. Um, had all these other beers kind of on a on a school night, although I am drinking this on a school night. But I thought if I crack it early, home from work, I can uh, I can get through it. Well, that was a major pop. I was waiting for it to uh, rush everywhere. Jesus. No, it's alright, but damn, that was one hell of a pop. Right. Big old head on there. Lovely and clear. Kind of not picking up too well on the light here, but it's kind of got a dark chestnutty, almost reddish hue to it. Hmm. Smells almost uh, quite. Getting a little bit of the alcohol note on there, but it's quite sort of black currently, sort of dark forest fruits kind of thing. Well, I'm going to uh, dive in. Well, wow. And I believe it's a, a brew fam kit. And they've well, none of the ones that I've had so far have disappointed. That um, myself, Hammerphone Brews, done a few. They've all been great. I don't know whether Clive used um, just normal sugar in this, because the brew film kits do say you can, and I think Hammerphone Brews just use normal sugar. I used the candy sugar in mine, and uh, it tasted great. They seem to taste great without it, so I don't think you kind of need the extra expense of adding that to it. It's very warming. Got a little bit of a pork note to it, but it's more. more sherry like, I would say. Really interesting taste on that one. Quite dry on the the very end bit of it, but you can't. I don't think you can beat the brew foam kits for for kits other than the the Coopers ones. But for the the styles of beers that these produce, they're kind of unmatched and unchallenged in what they produce. They're just I think all they need is um, a little bit of age. I don't know how long this one's been been in the bottle for but I bet it's been in there a while. Yeah they just need a bit of ageing and they come good. I think everyone should try a brew firm kit at least once I think. It's got a smell in there but I'm having trouble nailing it down. The head is fantastic. They always seem to produce a fantastic head on these beers as well that lingers around. Really nice and creamy. Quite dangerous actually. It goes down a little bit too easy for a 9% beer. Well, you, get, you can smell the alcohol note on the nose. When you go in for a taste it kind of You don't get a lot of it on the on the taste. It's more kind of just on the nose. So you could 
get quite silly on that, I think. And it's a bit of a cooler day today as well, so it's not it's not the blistering heat that we had a couple of days ago. I don't think I could have done a, a nine percent or in that. I'm gonna whack a little bit more, and that's probably gonna kick up a little bit now, but. It's gone a little bit cloudy because I uh, haven't done it in one pour, but I'm not fussy about that. Hmm. I'm not sure how much this kit produces. I know a lot of them produce very little, so to get a, a whole big bottle is. Uh, is a privilege. They don't make a lot, and they ain't cheap. The kits either for what you, for the amount you get, but you're getting kind of quality over quantity. Hmm. Cheers, everyone, and cheers, Clive, for sending me the beers. They've been great.